so I was on Reddit and I was reading a, uh, so apparently Post Malone went on Game Nights and Game Nights is a very, very popular YouTube and he had a great time and he was just retweeting and sharing his experiences, right? Again, most MPL members never retweeted their own videos. They never retweeted Magic the Gathering at all. In fact, some MPL members, you know, were, uh, what I think negatively affected the viewership and the game. And you don't need to trust my word. You can go on Twitch and you can ch check Magic the Gathering and how well it's been doing compared to obviously Hearthstone or League of Legends or a comparable video game. And you can actually look at how big these streamers, I mean, if, if I gave you $100 million in 10 years to get to a million uh, Twitch subscribers, could you do that? Or, you know, I think you could because you would have a lot of incentive you definitely wouldn't have to take 500 mental health days off, right? I mean, it would, wouldn't that be something you're excited about? Oh my gosh, this company I love is paying me to play the game I love and they're giving me a very steady base salary. Plus I get this massive bonus of up to a million dollars Mythic Championship. And all I have to beat are these special invites, many of them who can barely read. Hey, I'm, I'm I, I would think that you would use this opportunity over the last two to three years to build up your brand, to build up your stream, to get, to grow, to truly, truly grow. Um, but they didn't do that. Instead, they used every excuse under the book. Uh, many of them were depressed and that was a very simple, because again, Wizard Coast couldn't really call them out on it, right? Uh, and that's where we are and as a society. Like, I would love to see somebody who's takes let's say 500 mental health days at Facebook and see how Facebook deals with it. Be interesting, but logically speaking, only the NPL can do that. So back to the Post Malone, because I really do, do want to, you guys have to understand where I'm coming from here. Post Malone has done more for Magic the Gathering than the entire NPL has done in their three years of existence before being he has bought more new players to my game shop. More people ask me about the game. Uh, we are a game shop. Yes, we sell Magic the Gathering. And yes, I'm in a very, the reason I'm buying, you know, I have to be upfront with you. Pokemon cards have tanked. A lot of people want to sell me Pokemon cards. I buy them and they tank even more. So it's kind of like a lose-lose. I mean, at some point you hope that it hits bottom, but at this point I don't see the bottom. I'm like, okay, so where's the bottom? Is this the bottom? Okay, I'll buy. Oh, no. <laughs> So I would love to buy more Pokemon cards, but it's just not, it's just not feasible. So instead I'm buying magic cards. Because magic cards, they are dipping. They are definitely are dipping, but not nearly as much as Pokemon cards or baseball and basketball cards. So that's my, that is my personal self-interest in Magic the Gathering is I want it to do well. I want it to stabilize while these sports cards are going down 50, 80% sometimes on basketball base cards are going down 80, 90%. I would love that, that type of money to go into magic. I love those people who spend millions of dollars investing in sports cards and be like, you know, I'm done sports cards, I'm selling out sports cards, now I'm gonna buy something kind of stable, which is Magic the Gathering. That's my end game. So I have skin in the game, if you will. I want as many Post Malones as we can get our hands on. And I don't want the vocal minority to push them away like they did with PewDiePie. If you remember PewDiePie, he played, started playing MTG Arena, kind of out the blue. Wizard Coast didn't sponsor him. Wizard Coast would never sponsor him, right? And so many people were so offended a white cis male was pr promoting MTG Arena. Later, it turned out, I mean, they, they, they were offended. Oh, is Wizard Coast paying him money? Is it like, that was the general assumption. If you look at the Reddit threads, you can go back and search. Hopefully, they have not been deleted by moderators. But it really was, grab your pitchforks. It's time to burn PewDiePie. And there was some, so I won't be fair. There was some controversy with PewDiePie before, right? In the ad apocalypse and whatnot. Uh, PewDiePie had paid someone to do some bad things on Fiverr. Uh, previous or supposedly this was what and the media got really upset and you know everyone but Casey Neistat who was part of the CNN who was owned by CNN at that time was on PewDiePie's side because they understood what it was right it was just a prank it was a joke you want to see how much money what people would do for money now 
Post Malone seems like a nice dude. Uh, his tweets seem pretty good. Um, and he did the Pokemon 25th anniversary song. He's obviously into Pokemon cards. He's obviously into Magic cards. And every time he goes to Magic store, I would love for him to come to my Magic store. It would bring so much attention and sales and we would get news coverage. And, you know, I invite him, you know, hey, if he wants to come to my store, I'll kind of do it a uh, cool kicks way. I'll give him a thousand dollars, right? Thousand dollars to buy whatever magic card you want. Thousand dollars store credit. Uh, if you make like a basketball or something, we'll buy him a basketball hoop to shoot on a few times. And we'll just give him the money anyway. But he won't know that until I just shoot the basketball for the content. The dude is... Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, and Post Malone. They're, they all white cis males, right? And that's what the problem is with, that is what the Magic the Gathering thinks the problem is. That's what uh, Meryl thinks the problem is, white cis male. Lee Sharp thinks the problem is, white cis male. Gavin Vahey thinks the problem is, white cis male. I got, actually, Gavin Vahey, I think is coming to Houston to play. Um, he actually has, I forget what store it was, but they were advertising and I wanted to go to that store and uh, let him know what I think about him. But then I forgot what the store was for the uh, Modern Horizons 2 pre-release. He's actually coming to Houston. So maybe he'll be back a little later and uh, we can have a nice discussion. Maybe we can film it and ask him some of the questions I have. Uh, because I think, they're, I think they should have all lost their jobs right now. I think the NPL, like when, uh, let me put it this way. Whoever came, up with the NPL and Magic is an eSport. Like whatever team that was, it was an absolute epic failure on a scale that has never been done before. Like you do realize that there are other leagues like Overwatch League, and I don't even think Overwatch League has that many viewers, CSGO League, League of Legends called Duty League. I mean, there's other different leagues, right? That are doing that have done extremely well league of legends um, and they have investor backed money that's how it operates right games for instance right they give the a base salary and so on but most of the money and people get millions of dollars in salary nowadays comes from investors so an investor says you know what i would want to invest in this league i want to invest in this team i'm going to hire a bunch of coaches i'm going to hire some nutritionists i'm going to take this very seriously we're going to take this as a business no one says hey what if we just hired a bunch of players no no hearthstone doesn't have that um i'm trying to think of single you know single player games because that probably would be more relevant it it just really is quite astounding that they came up with this concept that they would hire these people to stream. Many of these people who previously have never streamed before or even made any YouTube content, that they would somehow hire a hundred of these people or whatever it was and train them. And not everyone even showed up to training how to make a video, right? Or how to make interesting content. And somehow this would be worth a hundred million dollars in marketing advertisement value when you can give Mr. Beast 20 out. I mean, you can look at Mr. Beast's video. It has what, 4 million, 5 million views. And then you can look at any of the NPL videos with 100 views, maybe a thousand at most. You know, I, I know that people watch Huey Jensen's videos when they need a nap. So maybe it's, maybe he'll have like 10,000 views on it. And so you're telling me that we don't want Post Malone. We want more NPL members promoting our product no no we're good mr beast we're good pewdiepie we're good post malone because of how they identify isn't that what we're fighting like you're, we're supposedly fighting for equality and so on like wouldn't we want to include as many people as we can and grow our community i really do bet i i'm, I'm making a huge bet as a business bet i'm buying you should probably know i'm buying shit tons of magic cards right now to put in my chase vault. Because I will bet that one Post Malone, one Logan Paul, one Jake Paul, I even take Jake Paul now. I'll take one of the Pauls, right? I'll take the other one, Jake Paul, instead of Logan, who does still probably do Pokemon. Logan still has to do Pokemon because he still has five boxes left. So, you know, the money he makes is, uh, is quite incredible uh, from boxing Mayweather and Pokemon even. So, I say, hey, 
bring on as many Post Malone characters or, you know, individuals as we can get. Because then my card values will skyrocket. So, like I said, I am personally incentivized to support bringing celebrities into our game. And you might pick all oh, investors, celebrities. I mean, we used to make fun of the mythic markets. Remember Rudy made that video saying mythic markets is garbage and blah, 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 blah. Like mythic markets, like I watched the video, I was like, oh, Rudy's right. And then I got into sports cards and Pokemon cards. I was like, wait a second. Like every other company does fractional ownership and they're legit companies with legit investors and no one laughs at them. And no one, I mean, people support them. And it does kind of make sense to me, like now that you can trade your ownerships and as long as the ownership is liquid in some point in time, um, and that's the big key factor, of course, then yeah, I do think it has value, right? And this is a company in sports cards. They do this really great concept. I wish that we had magic where they have like a bank vault and then you send them all your cards and they digitalize them and then you can trade them, you know, instantly. It's kind of like digital. It's a physical card at the vault. If I trade my, let's say, Charizard PSA 10 for your for 10 Blastoise PSA 10s and your also your cards are also in the vault, they would just take it from my my vault to move it to your vault and then our, our little box, and then we would do the trade. So it would be a very safe trade because it would just be a person moving my card from one one location to maybe 10 feet away, and a person giving me the 10 Blastoises PSA 10s from that location into my box. Kind of like if everyone had a Chase deposit box like I do, and we all kept all our magic card, our high value magic cards in one Chase, then yes, we could tell the Chase people to move one box and change it for another box. The contents of one box and move it to the contents of a second deposit box. Anyway, I mean, it's incredible some of these ideas they come up with, and it's so much more advanced than anyone's come up with Magic the Gathering. Just because, you know, again, Rudy makes fun of these ideas and then people just agree with him. But there's a whole nother realm out there with a lot of tech. And some of them are really bad ideas, but occasionally I come across one like the vault idea where I'm like, oh yeah, I could see that working, right? You know, there's no shipping, there's no signage. It's just, it's very safe because my cards are next to your cards and we can just trade. And then I can sell too. So then when I sell, then all your my cards in my little deposit box get dumped into your deposit box. And then I get paid out. <laughs> Guys, 